Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. Um, I had a request come in that somebody wanted to see how I clean my fish, um, just how to fillet a fish. And um, shout out to the Voss family for that request. If any of you guys ever want to see something in particular, um, just, just any kind of special content or a uh, just my see my opinion or how I do something, just let me know. Uh, you can leave it um, in the comments on any of my videos and I'll see all your comments and I'll get back to you on that and see what I can do. But anyways, today I'm gonna show you I'm gonna be cleaning some redfish. I caught these earlier today. Uh, that video will be coming out. I'll have that linked in the description below if you want to see how I caught them and all that. But uh, this is about how to clean your fish. So I'm gonna swap views so you can see what I'm doing and I'm gonna explain the whole process. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to fillet a fish. Um, which one you choose mostly depends on just the size of your fish and its uh, bone structure. So the first one is kind of how you're gonna do most of your fish, most of the fish you catch, and probably in between you know half a pound to five, six pounds until you get to something that's got a really heavy rib bones and everything. Um, first thing you wanna make sure you got a really good sharp knife. I use um, Dexter Sandy Safe ones. Um, they're not the best knife you can possibly get, but they're really great for the price range. And um, yeah. So go ahead, the first thing you want to do is make sure you got a good cutting surface and a good knife, and you're gonna go right behind the pectoral fin, that's the one right here, and right behind the head, and just cut your way through the scales and meat and everything there till you hit the spine bone. So you'll just kind of clear some of the scales out of the way and just slide through them like that. Some fish are easier to do than others, just depending on how um, tough their skin is. Redfish have very large scales. I mean, you can see those. Yeah, that's a pretty small fish. This is a 22 inch redfish. You can see the scales are big as my thumbnail and very thick. So that makes them a little bit tougher to cut into initially, but you'll work through down to the belly and make sure you go all the way to the spine from the front and back. And then once you get to there, you're gonna rotate your blade um, a 90 degree angle till you're cutting almost parallel to the spine. Usually I like to go down, um, like to the parallel to the body of the fish. Usually I like to have a very slight downward angle still as I go through just to make sure I'm cutting straight along the fish. So um, I'll just work through, and you're just gonna push pretty hard, apply firm pressure, and work your way through all those um, rib bones. So I'll just sound through here. And at the same time, you're gonna make sure your knife is staying pretty much tight against the spine of the fish the whole way through. That way you're trying to get as much meat off as possible. Let's see. And then you just work your way through, kind of trying to keep your blade almost flat, until you get to the tail and then after that you're gonna make sure you detach the whole way come through here now i didn't get really tight on all this there's still a little meat left on them right here um this is probably borderline uh, maybe the other method may have worked a little better i'll show you that next but once you get past the tail you'll go and just kind of leave it attached right here at the base leave the skin attached and you'll fold it over and just start cutting Go down to the skin and just work your way parallel to the skin, keeping your knife flat against the skin the whole way. And um, some fish are harder to do than others. Redfish, you know, tough skin, tough scales. You can apply a lot of pressure as you cut through. Some fish are have really thin skins, like say a speckled trout, and they're really easy to cut through and just have to be a little more careful. Um, you know, most of your fish though are pretty easy. That's a good way to do it. So once you have that, you have it disconnected from the skin, nice slab of meat. You're gonna wanna fill with your fingers and kind of look and um, you'll see the rib bones right here. They run along the fish. Here, um, starting up at the top of the fillet and down usually about a third of the way depending on the type of fish you have. And you're gonna cut just along the rib bones all the way down to your um, cutting bone and just work your way through there to cut all the ribs out. And just make sure you get all those bones the whole way through. So, just cut through. That one's got one running there. Just cut through underneath there. That is just your rib meat. Um, if you have a really large fish, you can actually get some meat off the outside of the ribs here. This one's not big enough for that. But uh, then you're left. Okay, so there's one more thing you need to check. Um, right here along the lateral line on some saltwater species and, and some freshwater ones, they'll have um, bones that run along the lateral line here through the middle. Redfish don't have those. Most fish don't, but some do. So that is something you want to check. 
um, because if they do, what you can do is just cut your um, fish, your fillet, just down the middle there and cut that chunk out, and then you'll be fine. But anyways, you don't have to do that with redfish, and right there, that's just a perfect boneless, skinless, perfect fillet of meat just ready to go. So you just put that in your bowl or whatever, and repeat that on the other side. Just again, you just work your way right along the bone there, in the back of their head. Make sure you go all the way down to the spine and through the belly, and then you'll cut through through your rib bones and work your way through. Then just slide down the body of the fish right along the spine keeping a almost parallel but just a very slight probably two or three degree angle cutting down to stay make sure you stay in contact with the spine so you got a little better on that one get pretty tight to the spine the whole way and there you go now the fish there I see so what happened is I cut a little too far through and it came off and that's not the end of the world that just makes it a little more difficult so what you have to do is you'll have to grab it I'm actually kind of glad that happened so I can show you guys this so just grab it with your um, just finger there and just you know there's not a noticeable amount of meat there anyways so you're not really losing anything and then you can just hold the skin Just work your way along the skin all the way through just flat against the skin so you remove it all and get really nice clean cut so you're not leaving meat on the skin if you look at your skin afterwards if you got it through i mean that is just scale bones there's not any flesh left in so just clean it off there work your way along those rib bones all the way through just try not to leave any of those here and there you go, another nice boneless fillet. I got a little bit of the tail, um, upper fin meat. Just peel that off. And there's your perfect boneless fillet. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on bigger fish. This red fish is a little larger. He's a little over six pounds. So when you got a fish like this, cutting through the rib bones like that is extremely difficult. They just have really thick body structure. So instead, it's always easier to work from the top. You'll make your initial cut through it or whatever. Just that way you've got a good starting point, just like you did the other ones. Just cut through the scales. And you just wanna be you wanna be mindful of your hand the whole time you're doing this. You know, you got a really sharp knife, it's easy to slip. Just pay attention to what you're doing. So you don't cut yourself. Because I have been cut to the bone multiple times. It is not fun. These knives are sharp. You get fish slime in there, it can get infected. It's just it's just not fun. So as always, be careful. And uh, so what you'll do is you'll work along there until you line up to the spine. But instead of going all the way through and cutting from back here and across, we're just gonna work through the top side of the back here and uh, just bend your knife and run it right along the spine and the upper um, side bones on the side there. So your fin bones and um, just their other bones that run along there. And you'll just, as you go through, you'll start cutting along it. You can see guys like right here. And you'll see you're just running right along the edge of the bones all along the top here. Kind of like you would on the other ones, but only halfway through. And then as you go, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna work it out along those ribs and just go on the outside of them instead of having to cut through them the whole way. So you can just go and start cutting along those ribs there, just running your knife and it'll just slide along those ribs instead of trying to cut through them. And you can work your way through. And after you get past the ribs, then you can go through, depending on the size of your fish, and go through the rest of the way and work it along just the spine like you would on your other ones. Sometimes you have a really big fish, like you know, once you break 20 pounds or whatever, that you have to go through both sides separate just because of that. Um, but usually you'll be okay just going there after you pass the tail. So yeah, and then you pull it free here, run along the rib bones till you hit where you see the skin's coming through. That means you've gone, you know, it's ribs right here. All this is ribs. So I'm not gonna get any more meat farther down the ribs. So then I can start cutting through the skin right here. Um, and go ahead and start removing this fillet from the fish. Now you've got all the back meat attached. So just work your way all the way through. And what that does is it just gets all your meat along where the ribs were on your other side, but you don't have to cut through the ribs 
at all because you know they're tough on a fish this size. Got through there, got that free, and this is your rib section here that you would be cutting off with your um, the other side. You know, you cut this out and then you cut that out of your meat after you did this. This way, it's already cut out here, and you just leave it attached to your carcass. So now we're just gonna work all the way through to the tail, just like you would the other way. Trying to keep it pretty tight. Put it out there. Just work your way along the uh, skin there. Just like you would with the other method. And you just wanna check and make sure you didn't cut any of the small rib bones here. I didn't, I go with all the rib bones on the fish. So after you have that all done, that's all you have to do there, you know? Nice skinless flay. I left a little bit of skin that I cut off here. So if you have any parts you need left on, like that's stuck there, you can just trim it up real quick, okay? Like just, you know, run your knife underneath it, disconnect it. So yeah, what happened is I cut that one first rib bone, pushed it a little too hard, and then you're left with your flay like that. And you know, that's a pretty big flay if you're trying to cook it whole. So what I'll probably do is once I've got it, um, cleaned off the fish like that, then I'll cut it into bite-sized pieces or whatever, how big I want them for fillets, you know, whatever size you want to cook it for. So, you know, about that. I'll cut them into chunks like that to make them a little easier to cook. And then you'll repeat for the other side of the fish, throw your fish in your gut bucket, and that's it, you're done. That's it. Uh, I hope you guys learned from that video. I'm not saying that is the very best way to fillet a fish, but that's the way I was taught and is what's worked best for me. Uh, if you guys would like to see some more tutorials like this or uh, gear reviews or just my adventures on the water in the woods or whatever I end up, you can stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button and that just makes sure that any video I come out with just goes straight in your feed and you'll see it the minute it comes out. Hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned. Got more stuff coming soon.